To configure a MIDI device to control ACT functions in Sonar, first install the latest drivers for the device and ensure that the device is connected to the system. Next, open the Unified Preferences view by hitting the letter P on the keyboard or by selecting Edit and Preferences from the menu bar. Next, go to Devices in the MIDI section and check the MIDI device's input and output ports that will be used for the device's control surface functions and apply the changes. Next, go to the Control Surfaces section and hit the yellow Add New Controller Surface button. In the Controller Surface settings, select the device from the Controller Surface drop-down list. For ACT-ready devices like the V-Studio series or A-Pro series, please refer to the Get Started Set Up ACT-ready device video. For non-ACT-ready devices not listed in the drop-down, select ACT MIDI Controller. Next, select the device's MIDI input and output ports used for the control functions of the device. Hit OK, hit Apply to save the changes, and close the preferences. Now go to the control bar and hit the Controller Surface Properties button to open the Properties menu for the control surface. Sonar ships with presets for many control surfaces which can be viewed by clicking the arrow button in the Presets dialog. If the connected device is in the list, select the ACT preset and change the hardware device's preset appropriately as listed in the ACT preset name. If the connected device is not shown in the list, select the default preset to create a custom ACT template from scratch. To map the various functions to controls on the hardware, click on a function cell to start the MIDI Learn and move the corresponding hardware control. In this example, the R's are mapped to rotaries. The S's are mapped to sliders and B for button. Then, click Enable in the Active Controller Technology section. With the mapping completed, the preset can be given a custom name and saved. Now the device is ready to control ACT functions in Sonar.